Good morning, my name is Ralph Friedrichs. I am an itinerant minister, an author, an addiction recovery coach, and the host of this show, to Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this if you go to YouTube under channel Take Your Life Back Today show. Folks, the reason we struggle uh, with insecurity is because we compare our uh, behind the scenes with everyone else's highlight reels. Great moves of God are usually preceded by simple acts of obedience. One of the enemy's most effective strategies is to get you to focus on what you don't have in life and what you used to have or what someone else has that you wish you did have. He does this to keep you from looking around and asking, God, what can you do through what I have? Enjoy the journey because the destination is a mirage. Every second you spend wishing God would take away a struggle is a forfeited opportunity to overcome uh, uh, the obstacles that are there. Stop waiting for what you, wa- uh, what you want and start working with what you have right now. This can turn your greatness and your greatest frustration into your greatest potential innovation. If you'll do your part, God will begin to do what only he can do. He'll make your box even bigger in life. The one who lives outside of times invites you into reality that is informed by his perfect plans to give you hope and a future. God speaks in the past tense about battles you've currently are fighting, and he buries the shame of yesterday in order to resurrect the moment you are in, uh, in and sustain you in the season he is calling you to embrace right now. Audacious faith is not passive. Neither is audacious prayer. Every aspiration you have in prayer needs an accompanying action. Otherwise, you're not really praying. You're just pontificating. You do the natural. Trust God for the super. Because the voice you believe will determine the future you experience. God gives the exact experiences he wants them to have in order to shape the specific destiny he designed for them. The next time you lose your momentum in daily life as you're chasing after God's best for you, don't give up and conclude that it's over. The greater life hasn't ended for you. It's only out of sight under the waters of ordinary, and God can resurface it supernaturally as many times as it takes, as many times as you're willing, it shouldn't freak you out to realize that God's eyes are on you as you're watching me or listening to me on the radio because he doesn't see you through eyes of disapproval or disappointment. His presence is not a sign of condemnation. It's actually an invitation. God is present with you through his Holy Spirit because he intends to uproot you from the tyranny of uh, the uh, familiar, shattered, the monotonous life you've had and take you on an adventure starting today. Reach out to him. And you can reach out to me if you call me at 844-405-HELP because you and I, we can pray together. We can t- take our lives back together. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And remember, a simple smile to anyone can change that person's day, possibly even their life. And what a difference it can make in your life just by going through life with smiles on your face, showing people compassion, showing people empathy, and making a difference in the world that God has created for you to live in. May God bless you, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow, and have a great day.